Morning everyone, Corey Stewart here, Republican candidate for Governor of Virginia. Before I begin, I wanted to show you something that on Facebook, when you're doing Facebook Live, it actually is a mirror image, so it makes it look like, um, you, you know, that I'm on the driver's side, but when in fact I'm on the passenger side of the car, I'm going to turn the camera ever so slightly to show you that there is no steering wheel right in front of me, uh, because, and that's because I'm the passenger. Anyway, uh, very busy day today. Um, we're uh, headed off to the first event uh, at uh, the Lansdowne Woods uh, Republican Women's Club. It's going to be a great time. I'm looking forward to uh, speaking out there. We've got a lot of support in, in Loudoun County and in Leesburg, and um, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Then I'm headed off to do some county business down in uh, Potomac Shores, uh, where we've got some issues there that have got to be resolved. Uh, then we're headed off to, uh, to Winchester for the Apple Valley um, uh, Tea Party uh, group. But I've known them for a long time. Great folks out there. And then finally, um, later on, we're going to stop by uh, the Gainesville uh, Republican Women's Club uh, out in uh, Gainesville. So, uh, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to talk to you about a couple things today. Yesterday I had a small fundraising event. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Terry Quinn, uh, owns Quinn's Jewelers. And guess who shows up but protesters, protesters. They've been uh, following me all over the state uh, with increasing regular, uh, uh, you know, all the time. And uh, uh, I, I, I dare say that they're not doing that to the other Republican candidates, and certainly not for the Democrats, uh, candidates for governor. And that's because uh, my opponent, Ed Gillespie, doesn't stand for anything. He never takes up his controversial stand on anything. And so nobody protests him because he doesn't stand for anything. So why protest him? So, but we're getting it. But here's a question for all the liberals out there, the press, but especially this is a question posed directly, and I mean this, to Tom Perriello uh, and to Rolf Northam. And if you're in the press and you, you'd like to pose this question to them, or if you're a Democrat and you'd like to pose this question to Tom Perriello or Rolf Northam, do it. Why is it that they're so quick to denounce somebody that comes in for a visit into, into uh, Virginia, down into Charlottesville last weekend, just like that, very quick to, to denounce this person. But they haven't denounced one of their own, a Democrat, not only a Democrat, but an elected official in the city of Charlottesville who is, by all accounts, a racist. A racist. He's a Democrat. He says some of the most heinous things you can possibly even, I'm not even going to repeat them, they're so terrible, uh, about white women. And, and, uh, and he, you know, he said things about, uh, horrible things about, about uh, white women, uh, about homosexuals. He's never, you know, look, this guy is an unapologetic racist and misogynist and a bigot. And yet the Democrats, especially Rolf Northam and Tom Periello, won't denounce him. If they're into denunciations, why don't they denounce him? It's a challenge. Okay, folks. Anyway, uh, have a great day. And if you're going to be around in Winchester, stop on by the Apple Valley uh, Tea Party Group. If you're going to be in Gainesville for the, uh, the, the uh, Republican women of Gainesville, I'll be there later on today. And if you're going to be, to be in Leesburg uh, here uh, this morning, I'll be doing an interview with Julie Carey of NBC uh, this morning first, and then I'll be heading over to the uh, uh, Lansdowne uh, Woods Republican Women's Club. So I hope to see you all at, at some of these events. Uh, it's on to victory. Remember, uh, you know, if you'd like to help out my campaign, the Republican primary is on June the 13th. We're seeing great things at the doors, great things on the telephones. Uh, on the telephone, and uh, we're going to win this thing. We really are going to win this thing. People are fed up of the same old, same old status quo establishment Republicans. They're just tired of it, uh, and that's what we're hearing everywhere. So we're looking forward to a strong push at the end. If you want to help out, please come to my website, CoreyStewart.com. Uh, you, you can volunteer. We need volunteers. We also need money. So no matter where you live in America, you can always contribute uh, to the campaign www.coreystewart.com and we'll see you soon everybody